Hello there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're going to be taking another early look at Thrawn's Revenge 3 Fall of the Republic. So this is the Clone Wars era mod by the Thrawn's Revenge team. Uh, we've been working on it for a while now and we're starting to be at a point where we're able to show off some of what's been happening. Uh, so on Thursday we did an early look at the Republic where I played for about 40 minutes as the Republic. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing today as the CIS. So if you haven't seen the Republic video yet and you want to see it, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to that. Uh, also, keep in mind while you're watching this, this is all pre-alpha, so it's all very early stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's work in progress, a lot of stuff that's missing or not done. So I'll be trying to talk a little bit about uh, the work that's going on, the work that's been done, and what's still to be done as we go through the preview here. Uh, but yeah, so it's also, I should say, currently Mod of the Year is going on. So if you'd like to support either Fall of the Republic, Imperial Civil War, or Ascendancy, our three mods in the Mod of the Year competition uh, in the second round of voting, then there's also going to be a link to all three mod database pages. Just go there and you can vote for them. We appreciate all the support. And if you don't want to vote for us, then maybe we'll change your mind next year. Uh, but let's get it started here. So we are going to be playing as the Confederacy, like I said. And I'll put it on hard, because why not? So I did go over this a little bit in the previous In the Republic video. But the CIS is the lesser done of the two. Uh, especially on ground, really only have the, uh, this is the Republic one, because the CISs isn't done yet. But right now you can see they have three heroes who are currently done and in-game. We have Porus Tonith, who is a, a Mun Admiral. He has the Corpulentus, which is a Luke Hall class battleship. You have General Grievous, who is General Grievous. Everyone knows who General Grievous is. Uh, right now he has the Invisible Hand. Technically earlier on... Uh, this is supposed to be an Era, era 3 playthrough, or an Era 3 map, uh, which is the first tier of the Clone Wars. So Grievous is supposed to have a different ship, but right now he's just coded in with Invisible Hand, so that's what he has for this video. Uh, and then we also have Newt Gunray, who is just chilling on Kaden Emo idea right here. So he's an economic hero, no flagship. Uh, what I think we're going to do, though, is grab all of our stuff together here. And... Navigating to coordinates. We'll just go get the biggest stack we can with these fleets, and we'll attack Coruscant, because why not? I put a lot of starting forces on Coruscant and on Fort Ross, so uh, just let us show off stuff a little bit better. There are currently no VOs done except for I think Grievous has his, and Delta Squad has theirs, because they were released in another mod earlier by us. Uh, no, Grievous might not have been transferred over yet, so ignore that. But, uh, that's actually one of the more common questions people were asking in the comments to the last vi of the last video. Mission log what we're going to be doing for uh, for VO. So that'll be something that you hear a lot more of uh, uh, as we get closer to release and closer to being done. Do we have any more Providences laying around? We only have two in that fleet. There's some there, but we'll we'll have a couple battles, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Tactical but yeah, actually, before we get in, uh, I will just take a look at what's in for the CIS right now. So like I said, they only have B1s, Droidicas, Hailfires, and Persuader class Enforcer tanks. Or Persuader class Droid Enforcer. Uh, so there's a lot of CIS ground units to be done. There are a few that are currently being modeled. So it shouldn't be too, too long before there's a good amount in. And that's actually what's standing in the way of us being able to do a full preview. Uh, this is, again, just going to be a quick 40 minute. Uh, look at them, but there will be full playthroughs on the channel, so if you want to see those, uh, I'll be posting links to them everywhere when they're ready, but uh, if you want to subscribe for those, then uh, they should be starting soonish. For space, we have our Gozantes, we have the Lucrahawk Providence, Munificent, and uh, a, lot of their, uh, a couple of their fighters are done. There's a lot of their smaller or mid-range ships that still need to be done. Alright, let's jump in just a little bit further back here. So we'll get a regular Lucre Hulk in there. And we'll get Corpulentus, Invisible Hand. I'll try to keep Invisible Hand alive, because I want to use Grievous on the ground. He has a relatively old model, because uh, it was made in the in like 2007 for when we did the Fall of the Republic mini mod originally. 
Well, that should all be updated. They probably won't be updated for the first release, but it'll be something that we're definitely looking at uh, longer term to redo. Let's get in another province. We've posted the unit list for uh, for both factions in previous news posts. So if you're wondering what those are going to be, uh, you can just check out. Uh, they're pinned on Discord. They're also posted in the news section on the site. They're posted in the news section on Mon database. So it's it's all fairly available information. I have gone and reduced some of the Venator fighters. Those are all numbers that are going to be changing as we go, because it was quite a f We've lost our turbo lasers. quite a bit too many in uh, the Republic preview. Our primary engine system is down. Locking target. I've got it both in here, sir. And the Luke Hulk, Luke or Hulk, rather, will probably have some reduced as far as what's on the map right now, uh, but they're they're basically going to be putting out uh, fighters the entire time. There's a lot of them. Vulture droid. Uh, we have hyenas here as well. These these ones. So hyena bombers. They're the probably the best bomber, or the best standard bomber. I guess that makes them a mid-range bomber for the CIS. Because uh, there's going to be the earlier Trade Federation bomber as well. Okay, we can jump a few more things in here. We're winning on this side, less so on this side. Oh, Grievous, get out of there. You're in the middle of the ship right now. No matter how much modding we do, pathfinding, we'll still be Empire Ore. There, that's better. Uh, oh, oh, so I also tend to edit in Knights of the Old Republic soundtrack for music into these videos, just so it's not silent behind me. Uh, so that's not something that's actually in the final release. That That's just so that the videos don't get, like, copyright strikes. Because I do need them to not get that. Have we killed uh, Yularen? No, he's not even here right now. I don't know where he went. I didn't think I had the Galactic AI on right now. Unless I killed him already and I just wasn't paying attention because that, that does happen sometimes. No, Grievous. Grievous. Oh, right. I think I know what. Yeah, so the... The Grievous VO had some weird channel issues when we originally released it, so it needs to be redone. It was only playing through one of the channels and it was really, really quiet. If we were much worse at this in 2007. Need to scale these guys a little bit up and remove those engine glows for sure. Typically now we do them uh, more texture based instead of those particles because the particles tend to look a bit weirder. And as, if you do stuff with uh, planes, you can get it uh, looking a little bit better. Because that's another really old model. Yeah, so I was talking about this a little bit in the previous uh, video, but you can use, you can see how the battles tend to be a little bit more uh, more spread. Out. I get is it big? I don't know if I'd say bigger because it's more small ships instead of uh, a bunch of like just ten star destroyers as the max per side. Uh, so just because of how the pop cap scales and how some of the ships are, uh, you can usually end up with bigger battles in Fall of the Republic. Uh, 
Again, probably a few too many fighters coming out of our side this time, as opposed to the Republic as last time. So that's all. That's going to be reduced a little bit. But uh, we tend to get asked about like what makes this different from fall from a uh, Republic at War or something. And generally, like the idea is that this is a Clone Wars mod in a style of Thrawn Revenge. So really, the only similarity is that like Republic at War, the Clone Wars 4.0, and Fall of the Republic, and whatever other. Uh, Clone Wars mods you want to mention really have is that they are Clone Wars era mods for uh, for Empire at War. If you compare the gameplay of Father of, of uh, like Imperial Civil War to any of those mods, it's very different and it's very different among all of them. Uh, so, if you're trying to look for a barometer for how to judge what Father Republic's going to be like, then it's better to sort of base it off of what ICW, what the latest releases of ICW are like, because it's it's the same ideas, the same design principles transferred into the Clone Wars and adapted for that period, as opposed to uh, like copying what other mods are doing. We fit, these are 20 pop cap, right? Yeah. So recusants go to their station. Yep, TIE Fighters, not supposed to be there. Please repeat the communication. All right. Byzantis, you're still firing away, so that's fine. I've always liked the CIS more than, uh, or the ship design specifically. I like the, the CIS ship designs more than the Republic aesthetic. So I'm probably going to be playing a lot of CIS. Uh, I, I'm going to be doing preview videos of both factions, but whenever we do community matches or something, I'm probably going to play CIS more than Republic. One more Venator. Then we're good. Out of formation. Draw their fire. We're also probably going to be a little bit more generous with starting forces in uh, Father Republic compared to uh, Imperial Civil War. So larger stacks of ships so you can get uh, more regular large battles. But not like the AI attacking every three seconds or something with free spawns or something. I'm just trying to encourage the bigger battles that you can sort of see with the uh, Battle of Coruscant and everything. Not this Battle of Coruscant. The cor sort of this Battle of Coruscant, but the, the movie Battle of Coruscant. Because this is one of the few wars in Star Wars where it's like two relatively large, relatively equal factions that are mass-producing stuff and the traditional war kind of thing. And we want to kind of try to emphasize that. Recusants hurt, but they are fairly flimsy. So if, uh, if they get too close to enemy ships or if they're focused down, uh, they're going to be in danger. But if you can keep them behind stuff like Providences and Lucre Hulks, they're going to be good support ships. And we're typically trying with everything to make sure that uh, all the ships have a, a good role, have some defined strengths and weaknesses, so that it doesn't just become like a, it came up in the comments last time, a, a spam of like just Providences on one side versus, or just Luke Hawks and just Venators on the other. Like they're going to be good ships, they're going to be prominent ships, but uh, we don't want them to be the only game in town. All right, so let's use our terrible, terrible ground forces to the extent we can. And, oh, they, okay, so they, they are activated, oops.
We're gonna need a lot of stuff to fight AT AT or not AT 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 T E S when our biggest and best are just persuaders. Invasion commencing. Battle droids are a little wonky right now too. Uh, they're being worked on for both mods, so uh, they should be fairly normal pretty soon. And I'd like to get super battle droids in as soon as possible. Enemy basically, once. Oh, uh, basically, when we get super battle droids, AATs, HMPs, and. I think that's it. That's when we should be able to start doing some of the full preview playthroughs instead of just these uh, these kind of previews. And that's when we'll probably split it off, split Fall the Republic off and get uh, some of its own dedicated resources like this that are got to be updated for the, for the time period. Oh crap. No, don't capture that Republic. Clones coming up. Lock and load. We're attacking immediately. Fire now. Oh, those are stormtroopers. Never mind. Not clones. Oh, I think their garrisons are still Imperial. <laughs> My bad. The hailfires are not firing properly either. Yeah. Like I said, all still in progress. We have no chance here. That's the ground stuff. Uh, well, we have Grievous. Maybe we'll just use Grievous a little bit. Oh, he's not that. Uh, oops. Right, you guys get out of there. I think it's just spawning invisible. Hey, oh, I, yeah, yeah. This is just his ship, not his company. Uh, what do we want to attack next? Go for Humberine, maybe? See if we can grab Destination confirmed. more of our fleets together over here. Trucking well. Are you cut off? No. Just think you might be. But yeah, so I have I have spoken to someone about doing simultaneous uh, preview playthroughs where I'd be doing the CIS and they'd be doing the Republic, and then after that I do the Republic as well. Uh, but just so that people can see both sides at once. Uh, because I'm not sure, we might be at the point where we're pretty close to release when the preview playthroughs start, and they can go a long time. Uh, so it'll be... Hopefully done at the same time if that if that goes through. People are busy, you never know how it's going to end up. But that's the ideal situation, so more details on that later. Uh... I think Humbreen. Well, they might have moved everything, but Humbreen does start with stuff. Tactical battle. Couple Venators. We're gonna win. I'm predicting it now. There they are. And uh, we're we're working on art assets for space maps, uh, like the. There's different planet models and some more backdrops that are more like this one. But also some of the bigger planets where you can do low orbit battles. But like I said last time, uh, we have to make sure that it's done in a way that it's still clear what's going on on the map. So we don't want to do something where the planet kind of washes out the, uh, washes out the ships in front of it. You can't really see what's going on. Reinforcements 
Reinforcements cancelled. Reinforcements are moved. Recusants are possibly my favorite ship in Star Wars, so I kind of end up using a lot more of them in general, even though these are uh, mostly starting forces that we put together. I'm the one who put those starting forces there, so that's why you, you end up with a few more. Alright, uh, come over here. I think we're okay on this side. The launch bay is gone. Ready. Intercepting. Oh. Our turbo laser batteries. Don't turn that way. I mean they're round and they have weapons on every side, so it doesn't matter that much. But I'd rather them face their enemies. The death hug. Where are I? Are you not? Nope. There we go. I need to go for that vendor. Nope. Go for this vendor then. No, go for this vendor. Has the most shields. You can stop there. And ground is going to be getting the same overhaul that we're giving it in Imperial Civil War. Uh, we're typically working on Imperial Civil War first with that stuff, testing it there, uh, usually between one or two factions, and then transferring it into uh, Fall of the Republic and the other factions in ICW. I was, I was originally thinking of doing it first in Fall of the Republic, uh, because there's only the two factions tested in, but there's so much work to be done to set up the base assets of those factions. Uh, especially with the CIS, that it didn't really work out as the best way to do it, uh, which is why CSA is being used for it a bit, because that's the current playthrough, uh, and some of the Imperial assets as well. But that'll all be stuff that we post a bit more news on as we go through. And you'll also be seeing it in the preview playthroughs for ICW and Fall of the Republic uh, as, those, as they go. And another common question in the comments of the last video as well was about release dates so we don't know exactly when we're going to be ready it's pretty much impossible for us to know release dates for mods until they're effectively done already uh so when we're in the final testing phase because that can usually go on for about a month or two uh depending on how everything goes like when we announced the release date for imperial civil war when we finished development and we still had to delay it by about a month because of some issues with Empire at War that came up. Uh, and that's when they released those patches for uh, the save crashing. So we don't like to give release dates. Basically, we just try to... That's one of the reasons I do the preview playthroughs how I do them, where they ideally give some idea of how far we've gotten, but also how far there is still left to go. Uh, like, you can see all that stuff with the Imperial garrisons and... Uh, CIS lacking any significant ground units. But we're trying to keep uh, keep the releases somewhat limited in scope so that we can get out a good chunk of basic content, so the, the basic stuff you need for the mod to work, some basic storyline fleshed out, uh, the basic rosters, basic hero rosters, we're doing 18 per side for the first release, and then like we've done with Imperial Civil War over the last eight years. Uh, we'll be uh, adding to that, refining on that based on feedback. Uh, and that's another good part about getting a little bit out at once uh, so that people can start giving feedback on everything and then ultimately the mod gets better faster through that. Uh, so that's essentially how we work with, with right those away. things. Uh, did I put the... No, I didn't put the spy buildings in, that's it. I can find where their biggest fleet is. Let's send them from Humbering to Seraphim. 
We'll try to get our fleet together and rove through for the next 15 minutes. So, uh, I guess what I'll ask you guys for the comments is, which faction do you prefer uh, between the Republic and the CS? Because I've always felt like the Republic is probably the most popular uh, for most Clone Wars fans, for most Star Wars fans. Confirmed. But I've always liked the CIS ship designs, and I know there are a few people like that, so... Where do you fall? Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements on route. This will be a simple one. Uh, the hard cell is being worked on right now, too. So that's nice. Changing course to intercept. Uh, people love the hard cell, right? Uh, but yeah, so over the next 10 days or so, I'm going to be uh, in my hometown, and I'm going to have my laptop. So I'm going to try to get some 3D artwork done. It's been a, a couple weeks, probably two months now since I've been doing that. I was trying to do a model every week uh, before my mom died, and then I kind of fell off a bit. So I'm going to try to get back to that. I was doing all right for a while. I did the recusant one week, I did the bulwark another week. Uh... And there's probably five or six fighters left that still need to be done between uh, between Imperial Civil War and Fall of the Republic. And those tend to be pretty quick things, so they're they're good small practice. And if you fuck up, they're tiny and no one notices as much. But I'll be able to do that, then finish stuff like the Asserter, get some more of the, uh, the CIS ground stuff done. And then you get full playthroughs. And at some point, the mod yourself as well. Get back here, CR90. Well, it's going to try to win the battle on its own. What, you, you don't want to stick around and... No? Okay. It looks like they moved all of their space heroes somewhere. I'll just make sure there's no ground units in this stack still. Not. Keep invisible hand. We'll just go down this line. Tactical battle. Impact. Wait a minute. Because that's still not connected, so. I was going the wrong way. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, Wolfie Lawrence back. Just went on a quick vacation. The enemy has been spotted. Copy. Forward. Choose your well, that's just sad. Okay, Grievous, Tonith, Reinforcements on route. other Lucra Hulk, Recusant. Reinforcements on He will be getting the uh, the edited coloring, Ularin. His will always be open circle fleet and have the other stuff, but right now we just have the base Venator. So don't worry for that stuff. That's all. All that visual flavor stuff is going to be coming. It's just uh, getting the basic stuff set up right now. Because uh, I went over how we're going to be doing the legions last time uh, and the open circle fleet more generally. So. That'll all be stuff that you see more uh, once all the basics are set up. We'll start getting that stuff. Uh, that'll start moving up more in priority. Because I don't know if the a lot of the legions are going to be in the first release. We have, I think, five of them done. But there will be more than that. Lasers locked and ready. Yes, sir. It's a weird thing of the Tri Fighters is having these like deep, gravelly voices instead of just being droids. Yes, we're here. What is it? Release the buzz droids. Get behind them. All right. So I think we'll do one more battle, and then uh, that'll probably do it. Because again, there's not quite as much. Uh, fleshed out for the CIS yet. So we've seen 
most of their current stuff in action. We haven't seen the Bulwark three or the Bulwark one or two, but that's in uh, that's in a later era. So ooh, this is a nice, what a nice back. Zantis, Full speed. you're all going in alone. Bring them on. With try fighters. Will. We've got them on the run. Oh no. I did say one more battle, so we'll go to one more planet. And I'll make sure we have the Pathfinders again. Tactical battle imminent. Dreadnoughts. Oh, there's a, there's a pretty big fleet of Dreadnoughts that spawns at Rendili. Hey, it's the same one. But yeah, so that's where Jace Dalin, one of the yes, Republic sir. heroes, spawns. Moving. So if you're a big fan of Dreadnoughts, Rendili is the place to be. Okay, let's do provinces and some munificence. I'll put a Lucra Hawk in the back. We'll add some recusants in there. I know I said keep them back, but I don't care if they get destroyed right now because we're never using these ones again. I hope they die. Target those lasers. Direct fire on those torpedo tubes. Star Viper Squadron reporting. Engage target. I copy. And just like in ICW, we have a pretty strong emphasis on performance. Uh, so even if you don't have like a beast of a PC, our goal is to make it as easy and smooth to run as possible, or at least have uh, as many options that make it as easy and smooth to run as possible. So like there are some people who have issues running like Empire's End if they have a lower end processor, uh, but that's why there's also much smaller Galactic Conquests, and it'll be the same thing in Fall of the Republic, where there'll be like maps with 160 planets but there will also be the same uh the same kind of map the same like air progressive maps in uh smaller sizes so like 50 100 150 whatever the exact numbers end up being but uh the idea is we we want people to be able to play the game uh without needing a beast of a pc because eaw can only use a single core and a lot of even newer processors don't have they go more for like multi-core with less individual core strength it hasn't really advanced that that much since uh since the game came out since 2006 and the stuff that has advanced with processors eaw can't really take advantage of so we generally feel like it's better to uh to try to get as much as we can out of uh out of using fewer resources Rather than like just pile in a bunch of stuff that you like, the game will technically run until it doesn't, but which people have a lot of trouble running. All right. Okay, so that is, I think, going to do it for our little CIS preview here. Uh, again, there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done, but I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, the mod and the, even the preview playthroughs as much as I am, because I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to do full playthroughs of the mod here and getting the mod out to you guys. Uh, again, it's all very much in progress. Uh, 
but we will hopefully start with those preview playthroughs soon and the release shouldn't be too far after that. If you would like again to support us in the uh, mod of the year competition, there is the links to that in the description if you want to check out the uh, the unit rosters and the hero rosters. Uh, you can check the articles page on mod database, you can check the pinned topics on the Discord channel, which there's also a link to, or check the news section on the Throne Revenge website, throndrevenge.com. Uh, if you would like to support myself in this channel directly, there's a link to our Patreon or to my Patreon in uh, in the description as well. So thank you for watching. Again, hope you've enjoyed the preview, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.